What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, Scorpio, so we're going to bust down some, some messages from the love oracle, okay? If anything resonates for you, Scorpio, don't forget to hit like this video, subscribe to my channel, also comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal, you guys, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's go. God, dog. All right, Scorpio, so there is someone in your energy, okay? And I feel like this person, Scorpio, is really watching your glow up. This person is watching you become the best version of you. And Scorpio, you in return are making this person want to become a better person as well, okay? So this could have been someone, Scorpio, that I feel like when you left this person to walk away, like you, you feel like this person wasn't going to do shit. Like you feel like this person was always going to be in that same energy. But I feel like someone here, Scorpio, was watching how you've changed and how you've grown and really how you elevated your life and everything and everybody around you. And this person like, damn, you know what I'm saying? She's Scorpio made me want to be a better person too, okay? And then we have, like, but this is someone, Scorpio, that does not feel like they were good enough for you, okay? So in the past, Scorpio, this is someone who felt like they were not good enough for you, okay? But now, Scorpio, someone who are here, I feel like, is learning their worth, okay? And this person, Scorpio, I feel like now that they know they worth, they're wanting to become a better person as well, okay? So in the past, Scorpio, this could have been someone that felt like, you know what I'm saying, they were not good enough for you, okay? Now, this also could have been someone, Scorpio, that pulled away from you because they were overwhelmed with all the things that they had going on in their life, okay? And some of the things, Scorpio, they had going on in their life, Scorpio, there were a lot of fights, a lot of arguments, and a lot of conflicts, okay? So I'm seeing like the five of, the five of swords here. Is that five of wands? Five of swords, someone has a big ego. Yeah, five of wands energy, okay? So someone here, Scorpio, pulled back because they were arguing, okay? They had a lot of fights, a lot of arguments, and a lot of conflicts going on in their life, okay? So this could be why someone pulled their energy away from you, okay? Someone also could have pulled back away from you, Scorpio, because they looked at this situation with you, Scorpio, as just a fling, okay? They didn't look at you, Scorpio, as someone that they could have a relationship with, as someone they really want to be with. They just looked at this as a quick bam, thank you, ma'am, you know what I'm saying? Like a hit it and quit it type situation, okay? Someone, like a little situationship, okay? But this is someone, Scorpio, that does miss you, okay? So even though this person could have recently or in the past, Scorpio, looked at you as just being a fling, I feel like, feel like Scorpio, you pulled back in energy you're not dealing with this person anymore okay now this person misses you okay and this is someone scorpio who could have always told you, you know what i'm saying they need time they need time to figure this out they need time to do this they need time to do that okay but i feel like scorpio something maybe this person feels like they don't need any more time like the time is now okay so let's pull on this scorpio because we have i need time so someone here scorpio may not feel like or may, maybe this person feels like they don't have any more time. That's the thing. Maybe this person, Scorpio, doesn't feel like they have any more time to spare. Like, time is running out here. Let's pull messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. What do my Scorpios need to know at this time, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What do my Scorpios need to know at this time? Ooh, okay. So, Scorpio, this is someone that now is looking at you and looking at this situation, I feel like, in a loving, in a more loving aspect, okay? This person may have not looked at you or even looked at this situation or this connection that you share as love. You know what I'm saying? Because re remember, this is someone who looked at you, Scorpio, as just a fling, just someone to have sex with, okay? Not someone that they to see themselves with or being with, okay? But now this person, Scorpio, is committing to looking at all things with love, okay? And I feel like this is why this person is wanting to change because they're starting to look 
at things in a more healthy girl. I mean, in a better way, okay? But this is someone, Scorpio, that did not honor their physical vessel as their shrine, okay? This is someone that did not care about their health, okay? So they could have made poor, the, poor decisions when it came to, like, eating this person properly, possibly didn't, like, exercise, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is someone who did not honor, honor their physical shrine, which is their body, okay? Messages for my Scorpios. And we also have growth, okay? And because this person did not honor their physical body, okay? Did not honor their body as their temple, Scorpio. This is someone who could not expand, okay? Someone who could not grow. This is someone who was not able to look around them and figure out, like, damn, that ain't right. She ain't right. He ain't right. Like, someone here was just left in this energy of, of, of illusion because they were not growing. They were stuck, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's put, hold on one second. Okay, let's pull some messages from this Divine Masculine Oracle, okay? I think I was supposed to pull it from this yesterday. I said, so I'm going to go to the Divine Masculine and I went back and watched the video. I ain't go back to Jack Scorpio, okay? I be doing that a lot of times. I, <laughs> I get carried away sometimes and they have me pull in different places and I forget, okay? But we're going to get into this Divine, divine Masculine here, okay? And we're going to see what's going on. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What do my Scorpios need to know? At this time, Holy Spirit, tell us more. Then we're going to look up fights and arguments, too, but we want to see what was going on. Messages for my Scorpios. All right, Scorpio. This is someone, Scorpio, that gave you just enough to keep you around, but they were not ready for a commitment, okay? And this is why, Scorpio, I feel like this person wasn't able to grow. They weren't able to expand, okay? And they felt like they treated you, Scorpio, like you was a fling. Like, they kept you just... They gave you enough. They breadcrumbed you, Scorpio, okay? Gave you just enough. So when they wanted some sex, Scorpio, you will always be available, okay? So this person had to do a little extra, maybe some time, talk to you. Or, you know what I'm saying? Do something like that. They would do that because this person knew what they wanted from or whatever they wanted from you, Scorpio. They wanted to make sure that it was always available, okay? Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. What do my Scorpios need to know? All right, Scorpio, this is someone who could not grow because they were taught as a child that a real man doesn't show emotions, okay? And this could be a female as well, okay? Women can be taught, Scorpio. That's something I had to learn, you know? I'm not going to say I wasn't taught not to show emotions, but a lot of the women I surrounded myself with, like, I grew up around some hard-ass women, you know what I'm saying? And they didn't cry. The only time I saw them cry was, like, at church, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. But I didn't see a lot of women cry, so it was hard for me. Like, I grew up a hard-ass female, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing how to express my emotions or how to be vulnerable, okay? This could have been someone who felt like they was weak, and I did too, Scorpio. Like, when I tell y'all, like, spirit really has come in and changed my life, and they still working with me, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I looked at myself as being weak too, and I was a woman. I used to wonder, like, what's wrong with me? I'm a woman. I'm supposed to be able to feel vulnerable and want to express my feelings, but I felt like a punk. I felt like I was weak, you know what I'm saying? Because I was used to being so goddamn hard. This is someone, Scorpio, that is a mastermind of hiding their true self, okay? And I feel like, Scorpio, this is why this person didn't feel like they were good enough. When they looked at you, Scorpio, you was just out here revealing yourself. You weren't scared to show yourself, show your true colors. But this person was. This person was a, was a shame to show you or show the world who they truly were, okay? So they were a mastermind wearing a mask and hiding behind it, okay? This is some, Look at this. Fights and arguments. I can't make this up, Scorpio. Look at this. Fights, arguments, and conflict, Scorpio. I'm tired of arguing with this karma every day about you. This is why this person's having fights and arguments and conflict, Scorpio, because they're arguing with a karmic about you, okay? There's a third party, Scorpio, that knows about this connection that this person shares with you, okay? And they're arguing each and every day with this person about you, okay? And for some of you guys, you haven't seen this person in a while, you know what I'm saying? So they like, dang, Scorpio, it's been a while since I seen you. Like, shit, where you been? What you been up to? What's good with you? So let's go to this karmic deck. Can I reach over here? So I'm just going to go, go where the cards take me today, Scorpio. So let's pull some messages here. Because we know there's a third party involved in this connection, okay? And they're arguing every day about you, Scorpio, okay? Tell us more. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about fights, arguments, and conflicts. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about fights, arguments, and conflicts. 
Mm. So Scorpio, they're having fights, arguments, and conflicts with this person because this third party still loves them and they refuse to let them go. Okay, so this person, Scorpio, looks at you as competition, okay? And they're saying they still love your person, okay? The person from your past, whatever, okay? They still love this person, Scorpio, and they don't want to let them go, okay? And that's why they're having lots of fights, lots of arguments, and lots of conflict about you and this connection, okay? Look at this. I am his comfort zone. He do he doesn't do well with change, okay? He or she, y'all, take it how it resonate. So this third party, Scorpio, is saying that they are this person's comfort zone. This, see, this person is, is comfortable with how they are, okay? That's what... That's why, Scorpio, they were not honoring their shrine, which was a temple, okay? They didn't honor their body. They didn't honor their temple, okay? They could have been out here having unprotected sex, doing drugs. Lord knows what this person was doing, okay? And I feel like this third party allowed this person to do that, okay? They allowed this person to feel comfortable doing this type of shit, okay? Now, for some of you guys, I'm telling you, they, they are going to fight because they, they get disgusted. Every time they look at this person, like, shit, this third party tired of looking at your person. This person, your person tired of looking at the third party. Like, they're tired of looking and dealing with each other. And that's why they fighting and having arguments every day. Because, shit, they tired of looking at each other. They get disgusted every time they look at this third party. Every time the third party look at them, they just be like, ugh, I got to look at your ass again. Like, ugh, you again. You know what I'm saying? Like, just get disgusted. What can Williams say? They get that. I just got the stomach virus face. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That little ugly face. <laughs> Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about fights, arguments, and conflict. He only runs to you when we're having problems, okay? So now this third party could be getting mad. Like, damn, why every time we have a problem, you going to run to Scorpio? You know what I'm saying? They, they ghost this person and come run to you, okay? Maybe they feel more comfortable or they feel like they can open up and talk to you, and maybe you're more of their comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? This third party feels like they're their comfort zone. But Scorpio, you may be more of this person's comfort zone, but they seem to run to you whenever they're having problems with this person, okay? Look at this. They're having fights and arguments, Scorpio, because this third party is watching their every move. This person cannot breathe. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They can't shit. They can't do nothing. Without this third party being up there as watching them, trying to see what the hell they doing. You finna call Scorpio? You going over Scorpio house? Like, I feel like there's a lot of fights and arguments, Scorpio, about you. And this person is watching their every move, Scorpio, making sure this person ain't coming towards you, okay? So let's see who this reading about, Scorpio. Let's go to this other day. Oh, Scorpio, I'm doing so bad at advertising. Okay, you guys, if you have not gotten a chance, go check. What the hell I'm doing. But anyway, check out that channel, you guys, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's see who this reading is going to be about. Now, Scorpio, I could be describing you or this could be the person that you're dealing with, okay? Who is this reading about for Scorpio Holy Spirit? Who is this reading about for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, this could be someone that has dimples. Okay, so this could be someone that has dimples. This could be someone, Scorpio, that has big feet. Okay, now, Scorpio, this could be a male. This could be a male that has one or two earrings, okay? This is someone, Scorpio, that has a short beard, okay? Because long beard was in reverse, okay? So this person, Scorpio, has a short beard. This could be someone, Scorpio, that has freckles. And this could be someone, Scorpio, that's the age 40 to 50 years old, okay? All right, so let's see who this reading is about. Who is this reading about for my Scorpio? past couple of days too we also have libra taurus aries again and gemini again okay all right you guys i love you and until next time stay blessed